It was an interesting day, there's no doubt about it. I thought the boys did some really good stuff today. We were, especially in the first half, um, we were a little bit hamstrung due to a couple of early injuries and that challenged us a little bit with rotations. But um, there were some positive signs out of uh, a group of players today and I thought they battled well late. So, yeah, we can we can talk about it being a tough day, but that's the nature of the, the beast. So um, I thought, once again, there was probably plenty of positives to come out of the game. So we'll look at them and move forward. As you've said, there were some promising signs early, trailing only by a point at half-time. Yeah, yeah, well, like I said, the first half was really good. And when you lose two defenders in the first five or six minutes, it makes it pretty hard because straight away there's guys going back and filling roles that they probably haven't prepared for and they're not quite accustomed to. So that's always going to be a little bit of a challenge for them. But, um, again, we... we we found a way to adapt and, and we played some pretty good footy and probably had opportunities in the first half to actually put some more pressure on the scoreboard. Um, unfortunately, we were a little bit messy by hand and by foot at stages and, and, and gifted the opposition some um, easy shots on goal. So that really hurt us later in the day. But, um, you know, the, the, the boys battled hard and did what they could. There was a number of players that, that had to fill different roles today due to missing personnel, and, and that's football. So I think the, ga the, the game today has probably got more into that space anyway, that um, players have been able to play more than one area of the ground. So it's probably beneficial for their growth. This will be the fourth and final time the boys will be playing on the big stage. Do you feel like they're better for the experience? Oh, there's no doubt about it. They enjoy playing. You know, we love playing curtain raises before our AFL team. Um, I think it's you know it's great for the fans to come along and have a look at their young group coming through and those types of things. But I think everyone's benefited from from being exposed, I suppose, on the uh, on the boutique ground. So um, that, that's a positive for us. And I, I know the boys love playing here. So yeah, it's been really good. All in all, the boys are better off coming from the bay. I think so. It, um, we certainly, when you've got a young group, they certainly need to freshen up in the middle part of the season. So the week off's provided us with that. They probably feel like they're back at square one now, the minute the game's finished, because they, they had to play such high game time, a lot of them. You know, we're, we're talking guys playing you know, 96, 97, 98% of the game, so they're going to be really tired tonight, but they'll rehab well and they'll bounce back.